Hello and welcome to the shop. Today I'd like to kick off kind of a new series and I'm going to call it Around the Shop, but I don't expect this to be a weekly series. It may be a month, two months before I produce another video. I may produce one tomorrow. It just depends, but whenever I have a great idea or what I think is a great idea, something that can benefit you or make turning more fun or simplify something, uh, I'd like to do a quick Around the Shop video and share that with you. What I'm going to do today is a personal camera mount. I think you're really going to like this. It's not my original idea. I got it from Aqua Chigger. Um, Aqua Chigger, I, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. His first name's Bo. He's a treasure hunter from West Virginia. Now, some of you that know me know that one of my other hobbies is coin hunting. And I've been hunting coins with a metal detector for about 20 years. Uh, when my triplets were born 12 years ago, um, I put the metal detector uh, back in the corner and it's been collecting dust for a long time. Recently, my children are older, they like to get out, they're kind of taking an interest in it. Uh, I've been breaking the detector out and trying to get back in the swing of using it. Uh, and I started watching some YouTube videos and Bo, or Aqua Chigger, and it, if you want to look up his site, I'll include a link down below, but it is spelled just the way it sounds, both on Facebook or YouTube. Aqua, A-Q-U-A, Chigger, C-H-I-G-G-E-R, no spaces. And uh, he's a treasure hunter, hunts mostly Civil War relics. Um, but I got this idea from him, and I saw it in one of his videos. He did a video on it. Now, I'm going to include the link to his video down below as well because I want to give him full credit. But I saw this, and it's something he uses in the field to video his finds and keep his hands free. But I thought, man, this is a great tool for anyone who is filming in their shop and making YouTube videos. I really think you could use this. And I'm going to build it today. And you're probably not going to see this video for a little while because I want to test it out first and shoot some footage and make sure that it is really going to work. And then I'll roll this video out. Personal camera mount. So I think you're going to like it. Let me show you how to build it. I shoot all of my shop videos on an iPhone. Now eventually I hope to upgrade this to a compact digital camera. In the meantime, I use a mount like this. I got this off eBay, it was very inexpensive. And the way it works is, you put your iPhone into the mount, it's spring-loaded, and it clamps onto the phone. It's got a little rubber grip at the top and the bottom that hold the iPhone in place, and it holds it fairly tight. Now I will tell you when I'm using this on my hat, I probably will use a rubber band or a little piece of wire to keep this from moving, to keep the spring from re releasing, because I don't want to drop my phone. On the bottom of this mount is a little grommet that you'll see the same thing on the bottom of your compact digital camera. I found a, a bolt in my little bolt drawer that has the exact thread pattern of that grommet and then I found a nut with that thread pattern and a small fender washer. You're going to want to get a baseball cap, one that preferably has a plastic bill you don't want the cardboard, they don't hold as well. And to make this, I'm going to use my soldering iron. Now, I have a wood burning set of tips, and I took this little tip out of that wood burning set, and I'm hoping to use this, heat it up, and actually burn right through the bill of the cap. I've tested my soldering iron, and I'm happy with the results. I'm ready to go ahead and put a hole in the cap. Now, you'll notice I've put a dot here. What I did is I kind of eyeballed off the center seam and I came out a little bit. I want to make sure I stay away from the threads of the cap and I also don't want to be too close to where the cap rises. So I'm going to just back up a tiny bit from this mark and go ahead and burn through the cap. And it's burning through quite easily. And I'm going to try to widen the hole a little bit just melting the plastic. And I want to test with the, the bolt and see if it'll fit. Yep, looks like I've done a good job. The bolt went right through. The bolt that I'll be using for this application is way too long and needs to be shortened. Now you could use a grinder, a hacksaw. I'll be using a Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. But before I go and cut, I need to get an idea of just how much of the bolt I need to remove. So let's go ahead and thread it through the cap. We'll add the washer and the nut. 
and I'll just cinch it down by hand. I'm going to go ahead now and put the mount on to get an idea of how much of the bolt needs to be cut off. And if you look under there, you can see that I need to take about a quarter of an inch off. So I'll remove this. I'm going to go ahead and mark the bolt. And let's get it out of the hat. With the bolt shortened to the proper length, we're ready to assemble the mount. Place the bolt through the hat. We'll add the washer and the nut. And I'm going to use a couple of tools here just to kind of help me get this thing tightened. I want a good, tight fit on the bill of the cap. We'll add the mount. And now I'm ready for the camera. I've got the camera mount to the cap. Let me show you a couple of seconds of footage I actually shot with this camera mounted to this cap. With this mount on top of the cap, you should now be able to see a first person view of what I'm looking at. I think this is going to be a great tool. Um, Aqua Chigger uses it in the field for his metal detecting finds so that what he's looking at, you're looking at. I think I'm going to be able to use this in my shop. If I happen to be assembling something at my work table or working on my lathe, anything that I look at, you're going to see on the camera. Now bear in mind, I did have to do a little bit of adjusting and I found that I, if I tip the cap down a little bit, it's more in line with what I'm looking at as opposed to having the cap back. So you will have to do some adjustments, take a few test footage shots, a couple of seconds of, of different things until you get the cap lined up properly and once you know how to wear the cap, you're good to go. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop tonight. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. I want you to come back and see me again real soon. Have a great evening.